Joining us now is the Central Chennai candidate and the uh, multi-term winning Member of Parliament, Mr. Dayanidhi Maran. Thank you very much for uh, speaking with us. So, Prime Minister has been coming to Tamil Nadu, to Chennai, roadshow six or seven times. He says Lotus is going to bloom this time in Tamil Nadu. See, uh, the Prime Minister has come to Tamil Nadu close to about eight times now. The questions we are asking is this. Throughout for the last three years, the Tamil Nadu government has been raising issues that the proper finance release has not been happening to Tamil Nadu. See, uh, in earlier now, when last December, when we had the floods, and Chennai was most affected, because we had about more than 200 centimeters of rain, which is never seen before. So we asked for, for the assistance from the central union government, and we decided to give a relief of 6,000 per family for China, each family in Chennai. The Prime Minister initially said that he'll consider it, he'll send someone to come and look at it, will, but not a single rupee had come. What has happened now is that Tutukudi, for the last 200 years, we have never seen a kind of a flooding. It's a barren land. It has really got flooded. So even then we asked first, and the Prime Minister has not responded. Union government has not responded. But the Prime Minister did come to, come to Chennai the last one month, three or four times. Hmm. He didn't even bother to visit the affected areas. The least thing he could have done is, okay, I can't give you money because I don't have the heart to give you any relief. I'll at least come and console you. He went to Tutukudi to inaugurate the port. He could have gone to those people and said, okay, let me console you. You are be affected. He didn't fail to do it. It is affecting him. Prime Minister is free to do a roadshow. We are more happy than hmm. But do understand that a roadshow is not for Tamil Nadu. He knows that that the India Alliance is going to form the government. He's so worried about the North Indian voters, especially North India is going to vote differently. This road show is to impress the North Indian voters that, see, I have support in Tamil Nadu. That means I'm still continuing to have support. He's trying to hoodwink the voters. But, but tell me, Mr. Maran, the BJP's claim is that there is a substantial chunk of the electorate here in Tamil Nadu who are sick and tired of this oscillation between DMK, five years of ADMK, and they're looking for a third alternative, and the BJP is the third alternative. See, unfortunate, Saka. The narrative which is sent by the uh, BJP IT is being spearheaded and pushed down the throat to all the national news ch channels, including yours. <laughs> Every national newspaper are to put the narrative. See, that is not the fact. We have a lot of keyboard warriors here who try to promote. So how can we see? 2019 we failed miserably. 2021 you failed miserably. 2022 you failed miserably. So in 2024 you just become a stronger. Yeah. The, the ground grassroots, we are the grassroots. We know what is happening. They are blowing, boosting themselves up, but that's not the reality. BJP will not even come one win one seat. They will not even come to second place. Probably they'll come a little bit more than no touch. You are saying that they will not win even a single seat and they will be behind ADMK uh, in terms of vote share also. They'll be just little above Nota. Little above Nota. Yeah. But, but Mr. Maran, the, the question also that's being asked is, you know, Prime Minister again has raised this whole issue of Kacheti saying, you know, DMK gave it away, Congress gave it away, Indira Gandhi and Mr. Karnaridhi gave it away. The irony of the whole issue is that this anomaly files for RTI on 5th of March. 12th of March he gets reply. That narrative which is, he wants it. See, we, nobody, for a no, common man, we can't get our narrative so fast. The Prime Minister for India for the last 10 years is Narendra Modi. Why didn't he do anything about this? You never realized that Kachati was given away by Congress or DAP. You, you gave 36,000 crores as a gift to Colombo when they were struggling financially. You could have taken back Kachati with them. Because of election, you have nothing else. You want to cover up your uh, CAG report of 7.5 lakh crores, which you want to do electoral bonds. You want to change the shift of people. And whereas otherwise, the incursion of China, China is, incursion, is naming Arunal Chhat Pradesh. You have nothing to say that. So you want to just diverge. This is the narrative of BJP. We we'll just laugh about it. And one final question, since you mentioned Mr. Anamale, and you are in the news now because of this viral clip. Yesterday, Prime Minister also reacted saying that people of Tamil Nadu will uh, reject you and give you a befitting reply. What do you have to say about this whole joker comment? See, I still stand by my comment. The one of the biggest jokers we have in Tamil Nadu is Anamale. He is the heaven for meme creators in uh, Tamil Nadu because he keeps talking, saying something in the morning, shifts to another uh, position in the evening. 
and we really enjoy this uh, comical uh, work in I think we would like BJP to extend him here more term here to make sure he makes Tamil Nadu people but laugh you don't think he he's taken seriously as a politician in this state how can you take a person like Anna Mali seriously no. there's a there are qualities for a leadership you should be consistent you should be dignified you cannot be behave like a joker what he does is he's trying to he wants to be in the news because there's a space four column space reserved the newspaper there's a time give along reserved for him by BJP in the all the TV channel so he's forced to talk every day and he's making a fool of himself all right mr. Dhani Di Maran thank you very much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18 and we hope to see you thank you. very sure. soon sure. thank sure. you sure. thank you very much so there there it was uh, the central Chennai candidate mr. Dhani Di Maran he's uh, sticking to his words uh, that he used to describe the Tamil Nadu state BJP president, Mr. Anamalai, saying that he keeps changing his uh, statements and that no one takes him seriously here uh, in Tamil Nadu, even going on to say that the only reason that Mr. Anamalai does this is to try and be in the media space.